Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I just wanted to have a quick cup of coffee with you guys. Feel free to join me in a beverage. I want to do a video talking about one of the most challenging cards in my perspective as a tarot reader. I have heard so much over the years, every tarot reader has a particular card that they absolutely hate or they just find they just find particularly challenging and they absolutely detest when they pull that card. Um, and I'm here to share that card with you guys today. I just wanted to give a little shout out to a small business uh, here in Canada. Me and my husband have been absolutely obsessed with this coffee company called Salt Winds. It's here in Canada. And we recently discovered them when we went to the exhibition this year. Um, so every year in Canada, there is like a small summer festival in Toronto. It's at the exhibition. And me and my husband go every year. We've, we've been going since we first started dating like 10 years ago. So we discovered this company. It's like a very small coffee company. I think they're in Nova Scotia or New Brunswick. I can't remember which which place they're from here in Canada, but I just, I have to give them a shout out. They're really good. Me and my husband have been loving their coffee. We've, we just recently picked up another order, <laughs> um, but we're just really enjoying them. So if you are here in Canada and you like coffee, I, I really highly recommend them. Now getting into the video. <laughs> My card, I've noticed one of the cards that I find particularly challenging is the Five of Pentacles. And if you're not new to my channel, you would know that from my childhood, um, we are absolutely, and when I say we, I'm talking about me and my sister. When we grew up, we had a lot of financial hardships. Uh, we were raised in a household. We were raised by an addict and an alcoholic. Um, I've shared a lot on this channel about how my father is um, a pretty, he's a pretty severe alcoholic. Um, so we absolutely are not new to having financial struggles beginning from our childhood. Um, and even now, in today's day and age, the economy is just, it's absolutely terrible here in Canada. Um, inflation is is just getting worse and and this that's not the purpose of today's video i just want to share a recent rumination that i've had on the five of pentacles particularly with these two cards um they're both from the julia jeffrey julia jeffrey decks that i have here so this one's from the witch sister tarot this one is from the tarot of the hidden realms so both five of pentacles or in the Witch Sister Tarot's um, deck, it's called the Five of Stones. So both cards I find very interesting. I like the the artistic depiction. If you're not new to my channel, you know I absolutely love Julia Jeffrey's decks. Um, I hold both of them quite closely to my heart, but I have a particular fondness for the Witch Sister Tarot. And the Five of Pentacles, of course, is more of, it's more of um, your more traditional Five of Pentacles from the Rider-Waite-Smith. You have a depiction of two people holding each other closely. And then here with the Five of Stones, it's quite a violent image. Um, where she's holding three severed heads. So in the guidebook, it actually says that these are these are heads that she's collected from the battlefield. These are all heads of uh, war heroes. But what I find interesting in the guidebook is the guidebook mentions how there is almost a state of witnessing that comes with the Five of Pentacles there There is a suggestion that divinity, as well as the spirits of land, spirits of place, 
and the spirits that we walk with in our daily lives, witnessing the suffering that we experience throughout our lifetime. And that was recently a significant highlight that I experienced in my life. Um, recently, we, as a family, um, we recently experienced a situation in our lives that it's really brought the Five of Pentacles back to the forefront, but in a different light. Of course, when you think of the Five of Pentacles, you think of financial struggles and suffering. And of course, that is, that is one of the hard lessons that the Five of Pentacles teaches. Um, it's, of course, with respects to financial struggles. But recently, I've had the rumination that the Five of Pentacles can also represent suffering and pain as a part of being here in the flesh and blood. Just being here in the physical realm, having a physical body. It can be a mental pain and suffering as well as a physical pain and suffering, but particularly a physical pain and suffering. This can even include grief, the pain and suffering that you experience from grief. Grief, of course, is better reflected by the Three of Swords, um, and that's particularly how I work with that card. I, I understand that when I pull the Three of Swords, I'm dealing with grief like a mental anguish but with the five of pentacles it's more it it's involved with the grief too but it's more the pain and suffering aspect that's highlighted as part of a physical experience as part of being here with a physical body in the, this physical plane of existence it can also represent having close relationships that where you experience a lot of love in your life. Um, so there's all that polarity almost where it's like, yeah, we're broke, but there's a lot of love that we experience in our day-to-day -day life. Um, and that's something that I've been aware of for quite some time. Um, but there's also a sense of how we can show up for people in our lives during their time of need. And I feel that that's really particularly highlighted with this card here, the Five of Pentacles, which of course is more of your traditional Rider Waite Smith imagery. Um, there's two people depicted here. So I do find that this one aligns itself very well with that meaning of there's an aspect of being there for somebody else during their time of suffering and need, as well as really thinking about how we can show up for people in our lives that really need us. So that is a significant rumination that I've experienced recently with these two cards. Of course, the, the aspect of witnessing of divinity and of spirits really being highlighted with this card as well as the pain and suffering experience as part of a, a physical, being part of um, the physical plane, having a body and flesh and bone really being a part of um, the experience of, with this card. <laughs> so I know it was a quick video today, but I really did want to share this significant rumination or I guess like realization that I've had with the Five of Pentacles and the relationship that I have with this card um, and how I'm interested to see how it'll evolve over time as well. And I know it's been a hot minute since I've uploaded a video of this nature where I'm talking about my significant ruminations or realizations about specific tarot or oracle cards, um, particularly tarot. I know I have a death card video on the channel. I think it's really old though. So I'm, I'm excited to kind of include that on the channel. And of course, as I go, I want to share more of my ruminations on certain cards in the tarot deck. Uh, I also have some pretty interesting ruminations on the Devil cards. That's going to be a future video, um, especially 
after working with deities such as Lilith and there were some interesting realizations I had while working with the myth of Dionysus. Although he's personally, I'm pretty sure, not come forward as, um, as a face of the divine masculine for me, I've had some interesting realizations just working with his myths that I do want to include in that video. But that is for the future. <laughs> Uh, maybe sometime next week. I already have a video planned for next week. I've been really working in my own personal path in my life, working a lot on my spiritual sovereignty, um, rediscovering psychic abilities and gifts, as well as just reclaiming them, really trying to step into my power with them. So that's been something that I've been personally working on and I do want to create a video about that and I'm hoping to have that up for next week as next week's upload. So stay tuned if that interests you. Keep an eye out for that video. Um, as always, that will probably be up on the channel on Fridays. If you're new here, I do like to I film Sundays and then I try and upload them for the next uh, sun uh, Friday of that week. So that's just what I find works best for me. But I did want to give you a warm thank you. Um, if you're in Canada, happy Thanksgiving. And my my thoughts and my my thanks are with you guys. I do want to thank you for watching this video if you made it all the way to the end. Thank you and I will see you in the next video. Bye!